Hi. In this video, I want to demonstrate you uh, the FAMOS functions to create meander patterns on surfaces. You find these functions in the geometry menu, and there's a submenu surfaces. Basically, we have two groups here. We have two functions that work on curves and two functions that work on existing path. So let's show you, I want to show you the first group and um, start the operation. This is my dialog. And um, what I need to do is I need to select two curves by clicking on this button here and using a picking mode, for example, range on surface border to select an edge or a curve, whatever you can find in your CAD model like this. So this would be the curve number one and select curve number two. Like this. You can see these uh, yellow lines or this is blue um, marker that's showing you where the curve, which curve is selected. Over here you can see the length of the curve and you can see it's roughly the same uh, the same uh, length. Okay, so now I um, have to select how far away each segment of the meander pattern is from each other and so I can say I want, okay, I need five millimeter distance between each segment and I can make the segment a little bit longer for example for so for the robot to move from here to here and then go 10 millimeters far far over these over this curve and uh, but in this case there's a material here I don't want to do that and um, I can um, I can uh, select how to handle the orientation so the at the moment um, the orientation is aligned at the curve tangent, so the orientation is aligned at the uh, orientation of this curve. The other way would be to align it at the uh, orientation of the path, so basically from here to here is the first segment, so this would be the, uh, the first, um, the, the main orientation. Also I can flip the uh, uh, Z direction and rotate it. Uh, don't want to do that at this time. Here I can uh, change the speed. Um, let's we use 200 millimeters per second, and I can select this uh, option here to increase the speed if the distance uh, of the um, points become smaller. So we have a higher density of, of targets. Why would we want to do that? Um, so let's say this one is a little bit longer than this curve is longer than this curve. So um, let's say we, we create 20 segments and uh, we uh, we use the length of this curve to uh, create these 20 segments. And this is shorter, but we still have 20 segments. So the space between the segments will get smaller. And if you have a process like coating or painting, you would of course have more material on the spot. So uh, one way to compensate for that would be to increase the speed if the distance between um, the, uh, the targets gets smaller. Um, also I can create intermediate targets. So from here to here, one segment would be start point, end point. And if I want to create a point in the middle, I, I say, okay, I want one division, so I would get one point in the middle, or I can tell him ten divisions, whatever. Also, I can select a distance, so I get one target each x millimeters. So one, let's say one division and create the pass. So this is my pass. Uh, let's say I want to make a change. I want two divisions. So I type in two and update. So this will not create an, a new pass, but it will update my already existing pass. And I want to decrease the, the distance from five to, let's say, four millimeters and update again.
And if I think the result is good, I close the dialog and I have my targets. The other option, surfaces parallel between two curves. Let's have a look at these two, this surface here. Let's select the outer edge of this surface here as the first curve and the inner edge of the surface is the second curve. And with this option I have um, basically what farmers will do, it will create a path following this curve here, or this edge. And how many targets do I want to have? And this would be the target distance. I say, okay, five millimeters. And the distance between the segments should be three millimeters and create the pass and there are my targets and if I want to, open, want to change the distance to something like five I can update that very easily okay and close And because you get a lot of targets, and sometimes it's hard to manage all these targets, um, there's a, also a select operation for these segments. You find these in geometry surfaces, select segments. And this is the dialog here. You can place it somewhere here to the side. And then I select one point on my segment or on my pattern and you can see now I get all this information here I have pass number one this is this pass and this pass has 19 segments and I can select for example the first segment or first 10 segments or last 10 segments and that way I can select uh, all the segments and down here I can select special targets on the segments so for example target all the targets on side one so this is side one this was curve one so it's side one and all the targets of side two uh, and that way um, you can um, select all the targets you, you want for example if you want to change the speed or you need to switch on or switch off a device like uh, uh, a coating a device or something you can use this select segments dialog to work with your segments. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you and if you have any questions send us an email or leave a comment uh, wherever you see this video probably you can comment and see you in the next video.